In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to close more deals immediately. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Claudio, owner of Winray Consulting and host of the Big Stud Podcast. Uh, subscribe, go listen to the podcast, listen there, leave a review, rate it, help me out. Just give me a little something, give me a little like, maybe leave a comment on this one, just let me know you're watching. Look, sales has been my thing. I've been doing it for a long time and I actually had a hard time kind of coming up with, with the three things I think are key to close more deals immediately, but I really look back at like my early days and what I see being done inconsistently a lot. So number one, assume the sale. Like assume you're gonna go in, assume they're gonna buy, assume that they're interested, assume that they're not gonna you know, push back, assume that you have a good product at the right price, that you're gonna bring value, you're gonna overcome their objections. I think so many people go in assuming they're not gonna get the sale, right? Especially if you're on like a losing streak right now, you've had a lot of pushback, buyers aren't buying the same, pricing's gone up, you're getting more no's, and you start to go in hesitant or with a negative outlook a positive outlook and just visualizing success, right? So I used to do something in my truck before I'd go into any sales call, especially in home, because you're in their environment. I'd sit there and I would visualize the deal going well. I would visualize a positive outcome. I'd visualize myself being charismatic and making them laugh and making them feel like they can trust me and making them feel like they're making a good decision. And I was really good at the visualize and I would just go follow through on it. Sales is a lot of no's. It's a lot of kick in the nuts. It's a lot of struggle. It's a lot of effort sometimes for deals not to go through. But I promise you, you visualize positively, you visualize with an a, you know, assume the sale perspective, and it's gonna go a long way. Two, ask for the sale. I still, I don't understand this. You do a great job, you deliver a great presentation, you, you do everything they want, you overcome their objections, but you never actually just say, hey, if I can do this, 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 and this, are you prepared to do business with me? You know, I, different formulas for different environments, but hey, if I can deliver X scope, within Y budget by Z time frame, are you prepared to do business with me? Or what's stopping you from saying yes today? Or what else are you looking for to help you become more comfortable in choosing to do business with me? They're not, I think a lot of salespeople look at them as like conflict type questions, like you're creating a contest. So you're put, it's, it's, it's a hard question. I mean, it's, it's, you're forcing them to answer you honestly, but I think asking for the sale is, is one of the biggest misses I see in all industries from a sales perspective. Like people are just afraid to get the no, so they don't ask at all. They just say, okay, well let me know if you have any questions. You know, I can't wait to do business with you and then they just walk out. They don't ever ask for the sale. You just assume that they're gonna reach out. I, I can't, I still hear people. Dude, if they wanna do business with me, they'll call me. Who the fuck do you think you are? Like, it's not how this shit works, man. Like, you gotta, you gotta ask for the sale in person. You gotta be charismatic. You gotta have great delivery. You have to communicate the story well. You have to make them feel like they can know, like, and trust you to be doing business with you because, you know, more often than not, you know, especially in the construction world, you know, you're doing a, a very big intrusive project typically. You gotta ask for the sale. And the third, I kinda just talked about it, but follow up. You know, like if you just went, if I talk about follow up Friday, I can't tell you how many times, I've been posting follow up Friday on my social media for probably three and a half years. Every week I get a DM from somebody saying, dude, Mike, thanks for reminding me, I did five follow so I closed two deals, man, thank you so much. There's so much opportunity in that wake of unclosed deals behind you, that if you just spent two hours every week, every Friday from one to three, that was when I used to do it because that's how I kind of closed out my week. Every Friday from one to three was my follow-up time. I would follow up with everybody that was in a you know previous you know prospect or a proposal that was delivered or a referral partner I hadn't heard back from in a while, whatever it was, I did follow-ups every Friday. And I'll tell you, the amount of people that just say, well, they'll call me if they want to do business with me. People get distracted, they get, Things come up in their life, you know, you're just not the top priority to them like you, like they are to you. Like most of the big deals that you want are you, they're really important to you. You're not that important to them. So the person who does the best job and, you know, assuming the sale, asking for the sale and following up effectively, you're gonna, if you do any one of those three things, you're gonna close more deals. If you do all three of those things, I guarantee you start closing more deals immediately. If you have questions on that, if you wanna understand that more, reach out to me, shoot me a DM, let's, let's get you connected to one of the coaches on the team. Let's get you some advice to help you implement some of those strategies because look, sales is the lifeblood of all businesses. And especially with you know market volatility and, and supply chain issues, projects are gonna get pushed out, which is gonna slow down cash flow. So the more deals you're bringing in, the better right now. So if you need help with any of that, those are the three things I think are most important from a high level perspective. Visualize success, ask for, the, ask for the close confidently, and follow up consistently. If you do those three things, I guarantee you start closing more deals immediately, and you'll start winning fast and winning often.